on the back and he didn't respond when he went through with his father's will, not my will, but thy be done. While doing this, our minds become clearer and our faith stronger and our hope is confirmed. We are so engrossed with the view of his purity and his loveliness and the sacrifice he has made to bring us into agreement with God that we have no disposition to speak of doubts and discouragements. Wow. Looking unto Jesus, being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And that is something we need to remind ourselves. Well, this verse really got a hold of me. We have a job to do. Our job is to take our minds and believe what God says about us. Is that too hard? You're going to have to cast down those thoughts that are not God's thoughts. Prepare your minds for action. Be completely sober in spirit, steadfast, self-disciplined, spiritually and morally alert. That's an amplified version. And I chose this one because I wanted you to see, prepare your minds and fix your hope completely. Fix your hope on what? On the fact that maybe you're going to make it through the day without snacks in between meals. And you're going to control appetite and God's going to be so proud of you. I just wonder. Fix your hope completely on the grace of God that is coming to you when Jesus Christ is revealed. We've got to prepare our minds for action. We've got to be completely sober in spirit, steadfast, self-disciplined, spiritually and morally alert. You've got to know how to cast down those thoughts that are not God's thoughts. Whether, not just sin. I'm not talking about, yeah, I thought about doing something really bad. No, I'm not talking about that. To be in disagreement with God says what His character is that He's given to you. All those fruits of the Spirit. All that stuff. If you're saying, I'm not patient, I'm not kind, you know, I'm just so impatient, I'm so stupid, you know, these are things that we're not allowed to say. Because we can call those things which not be not as though they were. If God says I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, He says He's giving me the fruit of patience, then guess what? I can have patience. And you can. You, in that moment, you can have more patience. He's given you, you know, sort of like, he, he, he gave you enough strength to get through the day, and now you're just at the last part of your day. There's just this much more to go. Just this much more to go. And so that, that, it's at that point you say, I don't have to. I don't have to put up my guard anymore. I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to act the way I want to act. I'm going to talk the way I want to talk. I'm going to let down my guard. No, he has more grace for the last part, which may be when you're in the driveway getting ready to talk to your family in two minutes, as he did for all the rest of the day that he helped you. Believe it. I don't have to, I don't have to let it go at the end because now I'm finally at my house and I can do that. No, I've got to keep my thoughts all the time. I gotta call those things which be not as though they were. Who did this? What's this verse about? Father of many nations. Who's that? Abraham, who believed God and it was counted unto him for what? Righteousness. You want righteousness? You gotta call those things which be not as though they were. Don't be telling me you're all stubborn. Don't be telling me you're all impatient. Don't be telling me you're all unkind. God has said, I fill you with your Holy Spirit. You focus on Jesus, not on you, not on me. You focus on Jesus and you will have my Holy Spirit. You will have the fruit of the Spirit. Amen? Amen. All right. And you might even be believing against hope, contrary to hope. You might not even have any hope that you're going to get patience. I don't know what you're fruit is that you need. Maybe it's self-control. Maybe it's gentleness. I don't know. But we don't have fruits. We have the fruit. If we have the giver of the fruit, we have the fruits. Amen. Let me say that again. If we have the giver of the fruit, you say it with me. If we have the giver of the fruit, we have the fruits. We need the Holy Spirit. And we need to call those things which do not exist as though they did exist. We'll be like Abraham, and it'll be counted to us for righteousness to say what God says about us. Not what the devil wants us to think about ourselves. Because we're supposed to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. We have 
to do that. If you have been trying to walk your Christian life without this message in your heart, I don't know how you've done it. Because i got to cast every false thought down and bring it into captivity to the obedience of Christ, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4 and 5, in order to even walk out of the door in the morning. Because, guess what? We have the mind of Christ. If we've been transformed, we have a new mind. We have the mind of Christ. I like this in the Amplified. Not to be boastful. Not to say, I've got the mind of Christ. No, but to be guided by His thoughts and purposes. You know, we have this verse in Acts. It says, whom the heaven must receive until the time of restitution of all things. One of the restitutions of all things is the character of God's people. And we're not going to be making it if this is what we're focusing on. I can't do it. I'm not worthy. I must be perfect. I must not make a mistake. I'm not good enough. Nobody loves me. I can't do it. It's counterproductive. It will not only not give you what you're looking for, it will prevent you from getting it. And I know you don't want that. But guess what the fruit of the Spirit is? Say it with me one more time. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there's no law. You're not going to get arrested for it. Our Lord Jesus, He's made all the provisions that we need. He's been the sacrifice. He created the world. He's our high priest, interceding for us in heaven. Amen. And he is our soon coming king. Amen. So I'm going to just ask you a few questions. Is it your desire to begin calling those things that are not as though they are? And you know what things you don't think that you have and you will never get in your character. But is it your desire to be like Abraham and start calling those things that are not as though they are by faith in Christ? If it's your desire, say amen. amen. I want you to say, I'm a believer. I am a believer. Are you a believer? Yes. Was Abraham a believer? Yes. Well, are you willing to bring your thoughts into control to the Holy Spirit and believe that what Christ has done for you is real? Is it something you can do? Yes. With the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Can you cast down those thoughts that are not, not, not God's thoughts about you? Can you say, I'm a, I'm a believer? And if you want to renew your commitment, like Paul wanted Philemon, to make his faith effective by acknowledging every good thing which is in you, because you're in Christ Jesus, go ahead, raise your hand. All right. Our closing hymn is number 461, Be Still My Soul.
need to make a consecration of our hearts. And sometimes it's easy. If she's just going to play a little bit more. The same song. She's got it. We need to make a consecration of our hearts when we hear the word. And I know I read from the Bible. I know you read with me. And we are believers. Amen. So this prayer, I'm going to ask us to close our eyes. And ask him to do what for us what we cannot do for ourselves. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, it's because you have promised us so many wonderful things in your word. You have gifted us the gift of the Holy Spirit. We can ask you for this gift because even parents that aren't even good parents give gifts to their children and you, the ultimate good parent, have granted us your Holy Spirit. Please give us the Holy Spirit, Lord, and with it the train of gifts that come, gifts of understanding and wisdom and knowledge and the fruit of the Holy Spirit that would make us have the character of Christ. Let us so focus on Jesus, our heavenly, heavenly interceder, our heavenly priest, our high priest, our Savior, our Lord, that we might reflect that back out to others. For this is our prayer, each and every one of us. Help us to remember that in Christ we are the righteousness of God. Help us to walk according to your word and believe what you say about us, Lord. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.